Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The sum from i equals 1 to n of 2i minus 1 is equal to n squared for all positive integers n. Okay, so to prove this, we're going to use mathematical induction. And so to start, we're going to prove the base case. That is, we're going to prove that this statement is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really what we're trying to prove here is that the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 2i minus 1 is equal to 1 squared. So let's start out by writing the left-hand side, where n is equal to 1. Now, if we recall, when the lower and upper bounds of a summation are equal, then all we do is we replace i with that number. So really, this sum is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1, and that's it. And this is equal to 1, which is equal to 1 squared. And so at this point, we have proven precisely this statement in the case where n is equal to 1, right? As you can see, we've proven it. So this completes the base case. So now we're going to move on to the induction step. Now, if you recall, in the induction step, what we do here is we pick out an arbitrary positive integer n. And we assume that this arbitrary positive integer n that we picked out is one where this statement holds. Right, so for instance, maybe this arbitrary positive integer that we picked out was 1. So, assuming that this is true is correct. But now what we want to do is we want to prove that this same statement is true if instead we have n plus 1. Because since we know it's true for n equals 1, it will then be true for n equals 2. But since n could be any positive integer, then it'll be true for n equals 3. Then it'll be true for n equals 4, and so on. Right? And that's the idea behind induction. So, now, let's prove that the same statement is true for n plus 1. And to see that, check this out. If we take the sum up to n plus 1, then, if we recall, when the upper bound of the sum is strictly bigger than the lower bound of the sum, then we can pull out the n plus 1 term from the sum. That is, we can rewrite this sum as the sum from i equals 1 to n of 2i minus 1 plus 2 times n plus 1 minus 1. Right? So really, all we did here was we rewrote the sum, instead of being from i equals 1 to n plus 1, well, we're going to decrease n plus 1 to n, right? We're only going to take the sum up from i equals 1 to n. But then we still have that n plus 1 term here, right? This just comes from the recursive definition of summations. But now we know that this sum is equal to n squared, right? That's the thing we're assuming. So we can replace this sum with n squared. Okay, now let's simplify this. If we distribute the 2 across, we get, and if we do 2 minus 1, we get 1. But then, n squared plus 2n plus 1 is really just n plus 1 squared. And now, we have shown that this is equal to this. In other words, we have proven exactly this, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So, this proves the induction step. And because we've proven the base case and we've proven the induction step, what that means is, is we've done all the requirements for mathematical induction. We have now shown for all positive integers n that this statement must be true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.